And now we're proud to present a first in the entertainment world, an in-person visit to Mount Vernon, Virginia, the home of General and Mrs. George Washington. And here to greet us is the first First Lady of our land herself, Martha Custis Washington. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Mount Vernon. <laughs> We are now standing at the receiving hall, and this lovely painting over the door is a gift from Vice President John Adams and his sweet wife, Hummingbird. <laughs> you will notice that the painting is in a modern mood. Uh, it is a picture of a piece of pie squashed on a chair. <laughs> it's called Custer's Last Stand. <laughs> To my right is the blue room, over there is the red room, and here is the gold room. That's where George keeps his teeth. Over here... Just, um, ju just a minute, Mrs. Washington. Gold teeth? But history tells us the president had wooden teeth. Yes, that's true. Uh, George had the first false teeth made in America. They were made of wood. Well, didn't he ever have any trouble with them? Well, he never had any cavities, but he was bothered a great deal by termites and dry rot. <laughs> oh, you know, George, I just can't get him to varnish after every meal. <laughs> Is General Washington at home now? Oh, no. He and Tommy Jefferson are out on one of their 50-mile hikes. <laughs> they left at five this morning. They're early Americans, you know. <laughs> yes, I, I understand the general is quite an athlete. Is that a true story about him throwing a dollar across the Rappahannock River? Oh, yes. People don't know how difficult that was. He used paper money. <laughs> Well, as long as we're asking questions about General Washington, is it also true that he never told a lie? Oh, yes, it's so true. Even the story about him chopping down that apple tree with his little hatchet, why he uh, was so ap honest apple tree, and above board. Apple tree? I, I always thought it was a cherry tree. Funny. He told me apple. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Washington, uh... <laughs> Uh, where does that door lead? Oh, right into our colonial kitchen. Mother is in there getting it ready for our new stove. Pot-bellied? Well, she's a little overweight, but we thought... Uh, Martha, dear, would you like me to help you show your guests around the house? Mother, please! I'd rather do it myself! <laughs> Mother tries so hard to be helpful. Yes. A uh, uh, little, mon petit chou. Uh, Mrs. Washington. <laughs> well, now, getting back to General Washington, we'd like to know more about him. Well, as you know, he was born on a legal holiday. <laughs> Well, I'm sure that the romanticists in our audience would like to know how you and George first met. Well, there was this little woman in the Bronx, uh, Mrs. Goldberg, and uh, <laughs> one day she says to me, Martha, mm, mm, have I got a fella for you? <laughs> What kind of a husband is the general? Well, I guess he's like a lot of other husbands. I let him go out alone one night. All I heard for years was George Washington slept here, George Washington slept there. Oh, now, there's a room I haven't seen. Uh, would you tell us what's in there? Oh, that's George's private bathroom. Here, I'll show you. My very word. 
That's the biggest bathroom I've ever seen in. And look at that tremendous tub. Yes, that's where Emmanuel Lutz did his famous painting of George crossing the Delaware. Mrs. Washington, could you tell us why did he stand up in the boat? Lazy George. He knew if he sat down, somebody would hand him an oar. Well, those must have been very exciting times. What really happened in 1776? What a party! We were in 1777 across the hall. They were carrying on. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I'm Mrs. Telling. Washington. No, no, I, I mean the year 1776. How about the Boston Tea Party? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> I mean, it was going lovely till the Vice Squad broke it up. And what's the real... <laughs> what's the real inside story on Valley Forge? Well, George never did say too much about Valley Forge, but he did bring home a lot of frozen food. <laughs> Mrs. Washington, as we ask many of our guests from the past, what made you come back to us? They offered me a deal to go on I've Got a Secret. Well, would you mind telling us what your secret is? The Battle of Bunker Hill wasn't on the level. <laughs> Well, now, before you leave, Mrs. Washington, one more question. How is George Washington doing today, uh, financially, I mean? Well, uh, he makes his regular income from the five-cent stamps, and he gets a nice few little dollars from the bridge. But if it wasn't for the candy I make, we'd all starve. Thank you, Martha Washington. 